be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you O lord while jesus was speaking a woman from the crowd called out and said to him blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you nursed jesus replied rather blessed are those who hear the word of god and observe it the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord jesus christ you may be seated in the name of god father son and holy spirit Today's gospel is oftentimes perplexing for us as Catholics. We know that the Blessed Mother herself prophesied that all generations would call her blessed. We know that the scripture is filled with prophetic words proclaiming the coming of the Virgin Mary, beginning in the book of Genesis and throughout the Bible. But in today's gospel reading, we come across a different type of scene. Jesus is teaching his faithful, and suddenly a woman pipes up and says, blessed is that womb that carried you. Very understanding why this woman would say so. But Jesus responds in a peculiar way. He says, rather blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Now, we could do a very lazy job with translation here and interpretation, and we could say, well, this is proof that the Blessed Mother shouldn't be honored, and we could throw her out with the bathwater. And yet, if Scripture is filled with prophecies of the Virgin, and if the Mother of God herself said that we would proclaim her praises through all generations, then we have to consider more deeply what this Gospel is telling us. And let me tell you that what it's sharing with us is so hopeful that our hearts should be filled with joy. For Jesus does not dismiss his mother with his response, but instead Jesus gives you and I the opportunity to be just as blessed as the mother of God. Yes, you and I can know Jesus just as intimately as his own mother did. How? We follow after him. We do his will. We love one another as we love ourselves. If we do this, if we fulfill the gospel of Jesus Christ, then we too are his mother, his brothers, his sisters. We become a part of that holy family of Jesus and Mary. Consider that for a moment. Our Lady is truly blessed among all women, but today Jesus extends to each of us the opportunity to be just as blessed, to be just as holy, to be just as faithful to his word as his own mother was. Alleluia! Our hearts should rejoice, for today we have been invited to become members of the family of Jesus and his mother Mary. Today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Fatima. The Blessed Mother appeared to three small shepherd children on May 13th in 1917 in a poor village of Fatima, Portugal. The children that the Blessed Mother chose to appear to were not highly educated, they weren't wealthy. They didn't have grand connections to the church. It'd be quite honest to say they were simple children, peasant children, mountain children. And yet it was these three that the Blessed Mother chose to reveal herself to, with a message of love, forgiveness, and peace for the earth. Now, if you take time on your own to dig into the story of Fatima, you may find yourself concerned, much as with today's gospel, the Blessed Mother told these children words 
that are almost frightful. At times, we might say they're disturbing. But we have to remember that in 1917, when the Blessed Mother appeared, the world was being ravaged by war. Humanity was in a mess. And the Blessed Mother once again came to remind us of the gospel of her son, to tell us to do penance, to make things right, to seek forgiveness for our sins and forgiveness for a world that so often does the opposite of what God asks us to do. Yes, the Blessed Mother was a very serious mother when she appeared as any mother would be when so many of her children are in danger of physical death and spiritual death. The Blessed Mother loves us so very much that as our earthly mothers, she's not afraid to chastise us a little bit, to get our attention, to call us to action, to remind us that we must be faithful to the words of her son. Today is a holy day. Today we remember the Blessed Mother appearing to three small children. And if Mary would appear to three children, simple children, then we too can have the hope that the Blessed Mother will come to us. We may not see her with our eyes, but if we will allow ourselves to, we will feel her in our heart. We will know that her motherly presence is with us, that yes, she truly loves us. And just as she said yes to the Holy Spirit and brought forth Jesus into the world, she says yes to the wish of Father God and continues to appear, continues to call us to the truth of love the truth and hope for peace on this earth. Those three small children that the Blessed Mother appeared to were Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco. I want to tell you a little bit about Francisco. He was the youngest of the three children, the least educated, and he did not even see or hear the Blessed Mother the first time that she appeared to the children. It was only after praying his rosary that Francisco began to hear the beautiful voice of the Virgin. Now these three children did what they were called to do, and they did it with perseverance. All three of them were imprisoned at one point. Their very own priest worked against them. These children had a courage that few of us ever experienced or even attempt to have in relation to the gospel. These three children went the extra mile. They would not be quiet until the whole world heard the good news that Mary brought down. Let us be like Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco. No matter what the world tries to do, no matter the doubt that creeps in, let us boldly proclaim the good news. Let us boldly share the hearts of Jesus and Mary with a broken world. Let us say yes to God, just as the Virgin Mary did. If we're bold enough to do this, then we can be assured that the Holy Spirit will work through our lives and God will do great things through us just as God does great things through the Blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. Alleluia.